Hi everyone, welcome back to the Maz channel. Thanks for tuning in, I hope you're all doing all right. This is just a little compilation of all the stuff that's been going on with the new summer house and shed. Um, I've filmed loads of bits and bobs over a series of days and I just thought, do you know what, the easiest thing for me to do is to just compile it all into one vlog. So apologies, it is quite long. Um, you know, you don't have to watch it all, obviously, but I hope you enjoy it. So it's showing you the new summer house that we're building at the bottom of the garden and also the shed which is going at the back of the garage after we took our old shed down and replacing the new shed and then um, putting the summer house down the bottom of the garden because um, my partner James, if you don't watch on the regular, is um, Anglo-American. He lived in America for some years, he's now back over here and he's got his stuff as we speak on a container ship coming over here and there's quite a lot of it and he needs somewhere to put it so the summer house was the solution really to having it uh, stored properly and safely and because we couldn't fit it all in the house um yeah one thing i do want to say about this summer house and shed business is you know i know at the moment we're in the middle of a cost of living crisis you know those kind of things they cost money to build and I don't want anybody to think that you know we're like flush with money or something and showing off and oh look at this and that and the other um, it's just a necessary thing uh, to do because there just wasn't room in the house and it was you know the most cost effective way of doing it rather than you know having to move or something like that so yeah it was necessary that's why we're doing it i just you know don't want anybody to um feel you know take it the wrong way or anything like that so yeah i don't want to make anybody feel like that um yeah so hope that you enjoy the vlog and uh, let's get into it the first bit by the way was filmed in the heat wave so i've kind of re-recorded the voiceover because it was a bit lackluster i was so hot that day um, and it is filmed over a series of days and weeks so yeah enjoy it and i'll see you later okay so as i said before this very first snippet of the vlog was recorded during the heat wave where we were just going to give you a little look at the progress on the new shed and um, we took down the old shed this is the new shed plot here as you can see at the back there's loads of slabs standing up on their end and then you can just see a trench in the background there so those slabs were meant to fit in that trench they were to be concreted in to act as like a retaining wall and then the rest of the area there was where the shed was going to sit with um, the sub base on it and then a plastic base and this is the wheelbarrow they shifted about three tons of earth what with that and the summer house base being sorted out this is my dad working on the cement mixer making the cement for the slabs to sit into While the blokes are outside, I'm in charge of tea break because I'm really useless other than that. Um, so I'm just making a cup of tea. Copious amounts of tea and orange and apple juice are being drunk today because it's still quite warm out. And then I'm going to do them some strawberries as well and cream. Yeah, a bit cooler today, fella. Hey. Are you boy? Oh, he's a good boy. Right, so this is the, the marking out for it. So this is like a, a plumb line, you know, and then we've got all the correct right angles and stuff. So all of this part of the lawn has got to be dug out uh, down about three inches and then obviously put in some hardcore. Which we've got some there, but we're going to have to buy some more and then got one of those uh, bases to go over the top like a plastic base made up of 
plastic tiles um, to keep it from sinking into the mud so it's going to be a bit of a job so that's, that's that so far and then I just take you over to where the shed is going to go the shed plot here and um, they put some slabs in and concreted them in just so that uh, this retaining uh, fence here doesn't all slide the land doesn't slide and around there as well to like protect the garage foundations so that's that for anybody that doesn't know we used to have an old shed down the bottom of the garden down there which we've moved and dismantled and um, having a, a different shed here now instead at the back of the garage and then the summer house is going down where the shed was at the bottom James has got some stuff to uh, put his belongings that are coming from America he's got a lot of stuff to store so that would just give some room to store that stuff and then the woods have some extra space in it to just have like a bit of a room down here we've had a delivery this morning haven't we Maz Look at oh this. dear oh dear oh dear oh dear here is our beginnings oh, of our Belgravia me. log cabin our summer house has arrived in lots of pieces and we're going to have to put it all I've together. I've got a bone to pick with you, Jamesy. Why, what have I done? <laughs> I've bought us a lovely log cabin. Yes. What, what, what are we going to do? <laughs> well, we're going to put it together, that's what we're going to do. There's yeah. a door, the windows are over there because we can't fit them in. Uh, yeah, we had a nice bloke from London arrive with his wife. Yeah. And they were actually living locally now, weren't they? Moved, yeah, they, they were lived, lovely. Lived there and then they moved to the Midlands and now they're out delivering these big cabins every mm. day, aren't they? You know, when the guys were unloading it, there wasn't a lot of time to mm. keep everything together. I've made a few labels to sort of yeah. label what's what, but it, to be honest, it's well, it's in some sort of order, but it is all piled on top of each other. It's going to be yeah. very difficult. And the floor panels were at the bottom, which wasn't very good. So we'll have to get them out Well, that now. was the first thing you unloaded, but, wasn't it, really? We should have had yeah, that the last we had a thing. double door on the front of it and then a window all on the front wall of it. And there's like an overhang and, yeah, just the rest of it's wood and it all slots together, apparently. So Lock, lock and key, yeah, it seems yeah, to lock in, in these as, little you, as you notches. can see here. You've got the grooves here and they just, mm. they all lock together. In, in the corners. Yeah. So, yeah, well, I, think, and a, I think a cup of tea's in order again, I don't think you? So. Right, so about five, ten minutes after everything was loaded into the garage, uh, my pa came round, aka the gaffer, and he saw a few things that he wasn't happy with, um, one of which was the fact that the wood wasn't stacked completely flat, and he said it could warp under the weight if we didn't get it flat. So everything's now been took out of the garage, sorted into more distinct piles of parts, and then it's going to be put back in flat, so nothing gets damaged so that's all on the drive oh. we're gonna get them a, a bit of footage of us putting it together aren't we eventually but yeah we will we'll do put it all into category order now and thanks uh, to Mazza's dad as well for helping the instruction book but it's going to take really extensive study so I'm just going to sit down and have a look at this properly tonight so that we kind of mentally know what we're doing. So they're just levelling it up now using that um, tamper tool there and like uh, put pegs in the ground and then they're putting a plank across the pegs and just making sure that the plank lies flat across the pegs with a spirit level and then that tells them how far to dig down if it's not level. So Dad and Jay uh, working on the summer house base again it's the next day today um, I'll just show you what they're doing in a minute I forgot to vlog we just had lunch and um, we had pikelets or crumpets as they're known um, with bacon and a fried egg on the top and they're lovely I should have um, vlogged that bit actually because they make a really nice looking lunch and 
look nice on camera, don't they, Jay? Yeah, beautiful. Um, it's one of our favourites. So I'll just show you uh, what they've been doing. They made a ramp for the wheelbarrow to go down the steps because all the stuff, the sub base, is round the front of the house and they're bringing it to the shed base. So they've done that, haven't you, bless you both? Yeah, we've been digging and bringing all the sub base and putting it down this morning and levelling it out. So this yeah, is where our new shed is going to go. So that's that. And, then and our just... nice neighbour has lent us her wheelbarrow, bless her. The, I know, the, it was so nice kind of her. And so we've got two wheelbarrows on the go. There's Mazza's dad at the moment. <laughs> and then this is the base, obviously, down the bottom of the garden. So it's got like a a membrane on it as well. Both of them have got like a, what would you call it? It's, it's not tarpaulin, like is it's it? It's a weed proof membrane, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's top of weeds. I can't think what it's kind of made of really. Um, and then the sub base goes on top of that. So yeah, the rest of it is going on here. So this wow. is where the start of our summer house begins. You know, we're putting down the sub base first and then we're going to have a plastic plastic eco base to go on the on yeah the top that's of that, going to go on see. top of the sub base that's like a, a plastic grilling type yeah. stuff i'll show you that in a minute as well so it's almost the same as having a concrete base but we're using gravel instead dad's given us all the advice we've got the foreman <laughs> foreman's here with us yeah with the gaffer just yeah so he's so. been helping us last him he's been coming around about every day helping us teaching me doing everything for us so okay. that's the latest so far so stay tuned on how the rest of the construction goes oh and do you like my charity shop t-shirt by the way this is my gap t-shirt so i'm just wearing that it's like 350. <laughs> On then let's go boy hold them off for overdoing it and I'm uh, gonna go and make them a cup of tea now it makes me quite upset actually quite emotional because everything's like too heavy for me and I can't I just can't help with this um, so yeah not very happy about it but um, let's go in and make a cup of tea with the years of having the ME, I've not got full body strength. Yeah, so even pushing like an empty empty wheelbarrow um, was too heavy, and I just it feels I feel so pathetic sometimes. All I can do is the dinners. <laughs> Is our charge for the next three days. She's on the bed. <laughs> We're looking after somebody, aren't we? Hey, yeah. you going be boys? Hi, you, Millie? Sam's at home with my mum and dad. We're all going to bed now to watch telly together, aren't we? Hey, hopefully she'll let me in my side of the bed. She's having a sleepover. Yeah, there, isn't she? she is. Poor Sammy's not very impressed. He gave me some funny looks when I got home. Oh, no. And I had to sit with him. A few days and we're just kindly yeah. doing this while we're doing the building work. That's going to be interesting. Yeah, it is. You know, she's ring. only away for a few more days, so we thought we'd maybe sit Millie Moo. Yeah, Sammy. Sammy's very particular that I'm his mummy and nobody else is. And uh, he gave me some old-fashioned looks, yeah, this morning. Spent a bit of time sitting with him. 
and he's a bit more happy now. Oh. I've got a little nesting pooch under the table. Oh, that's nice, Millie. Put your bum in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. There we go. She's finally made herself a little nest under the table. So we're on to a new stage now. All of the sub-base is down and uh, the boys are just putting the plastic base down on top. The but obviously, base, yeah. yeah, the eco base. Obviously it all has to be flat underneath before they can put it down. So they've been laying spirit levels across it both ways to make sure that it's all level. And then it all kind of interlocks together. And of course we've got Millie who's also helping us yeah she's been inches. very useful indeed haven't you girly yeah so this is just being laid and so it's got to go all over this space and then be ready for the building stage are you doing a spot of compooching millie we are having a lovely day out at the tip. We've just come to dump some of the uh, rubbish from doing the shed. That's right. Haven't we? Just like the roofing a few bits felt. Of cardboard and roofing felt and all the fun things you get when you've uh, had stuff delivered that you have to get rid of. Yeah, just all the uh, paint delivery boxes had to be dumped. So we've come here. Where are we going next? Can't even remember. Well, we've got to go to the builders next. We've oh, got yeah, build, the builders. We've got to get another merchants. four bags worth of. Uh, Sub base for yeah, the base for the finish it off. summer house. So. so we'll go there then next, shall we? Yeah, we've got Millie in the car as well. Right. She's coming with us. You better get back on Jamesy's knee, Come Millie. On, Millie. Let's get let's get going. Come on, we've then. got other places to go to now. Builder's yard now, we're just waiting to get the aggregate. I think I might have to go and talk to them, you know, Jay. Yeah. Um are obviously busy this morning. Yeah, aren't I think they? so. They seen us, so. Well. Surprise, surprise, we're now back at our favourite place by the river which is where we stop for a rest when we're out and um, we've got the mcdonald's breakfast menu we managed to catch that today so i've got um well we both got the same but jay got a double uh sausage and egg mcmuffin and i got a, a normal one with a cup of tea and hash brown so we're going to tuck into that Ooh. aren't we ducky yes very much so yeah little millie's in the back Millie there the somewhere back. i can't get her there oh here she is good girl She's a bit upset, but she's got something to share with Sam. So we've got them a bacon and cheese flatbread to share. Ooh. So yeah, she's a good girl. Did you like your hash brown too? Oh no. Mm, absolute thing of beauty. And here's Maz, uh, just enjoying her cup of tea and got little Millie with us. She got in the front to get a better view of your McMuffin. She did, and uh, we saved her a bit. Mm. And also, she just wants to always be in the front seat with us, doesn't she? She doesn't mm. like sitting in the back. No, she gets very upset in the car, because she's not used to being in the car as things go by the window. Sorry, Millie. Mm. Um, you know, she her knees gets are knocking, so aren't stimulated. Yeah, yeah she gets a bit afraid when she's mm. when the car's in motion. But um, she's calmed down a lot with us over the while we've had her, hasn't she? She's definitely been better today in the car than yesterday. Yeah. We've been training up, we're training her up over the few days that we've had yeah. her. We've only got her today and probably a bit tomorrow, and then she's going to have to go back, aren't you? Yeah. When you she's have to take you back to, to your things, owner. We've, we've kind of tried to nip it in the bud quickly before she winds herself up into a frenzy. Yeah. It seems to be working a bit doesn't it definitely it's okay but no she has been doing so great right, i think really... so yeah we're gonna miss her but we'll we'll love having our sam back yeah miss boy us. yeah we've missed our been sam parted from him you know for that long for some time no doubt he's missing us so we'll mm. have to take him on some nice long walks and get him some treats but uh, we got some new treats for him the other day didn't we yeah dog sausages dried sausages they're yeah. his favorite We've got them at the local pet shop. There's lots of ducks on the river today, Jay. Yeah, there is. Indeed. And a swan as well. A swan can be quite aggressive. It kind of went for Sam a bit. Yeah, is that a load of ducklets there as well? Or is that... Yeah. Wow, I've never seen so many in one place down here today. There's a lot. There's actually a lot out today. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, we just went out to, to do our, you know, picking up our sub base that we needed. Yeah, and we've seen this, too. we've had some McDonald's breakfast and we've seen all these beautiful ducks and a swan on the 
on the riverside while we just stopped in to have a quick drink and a bite to eat. Hopefully that will be the last of the sub base that we need now. Yeah, it's just the last bit we need to top up the final bits and we'll be going on to the building stage next, which is going to be the most exciting, isn't it? Yeah, I'm looking forward. To it. This is Millie's new collar and lead it's by Doodlebone. This is her wearing it. I think I might have showed you it earlier on the blog, but it looks really nice. We're not it? doing that as a promotion for anybody. No, That's we, just no. purely because we bought one from, the, from a pet shop What's uh, this? recently. This is a lifeboat mountain rescue team here going by. Oh, yeah. That's... We always see something, don't we, when we come, when we stop yeah. here. There's something new every time. This is going to be, we're going to put the last uh, panel of the eco base in and just top it off with a bit of ballast. And then we'll be ready to start building on the next stage. Do you want to show them around on the, the base? Yeah, so Jay's worked really, really hard on this this afternoon. He's just finished um, putting it all down. They're all tied together with um, cable ties just in between just to hold them steady. And then um, we've had to put like extra uh, gravel underneath some parts of it and it's quite a job to get them level because you, you kind of got a spirit level and you have to check crossways and vertically as well to check that they're level and then you're kind of shoving little bits of stones mm -hmm. underneath just to like lift it ever so slightly and get it but obviously they've all got to line up with each other as well. I haven't helped him with the, the plastic things at all this afternoon because I've been cleaning. I've actually, hang on. I've actually got my friend coming around tomorrow for tea and cakes outside in the garden and so I've yeah. had to kind of clean up and stuff. Um... So he's just levelling it out now, just filling in the hollers. And he's going to lay the slab on top. Is that level? Oh, it's it's bob on. on. Absolutely dead on. Check it this way. Perfect that way as well. Good. There we go. And we just well, have thank God. Tie them together, and that's the last one done. So we've officially got the base set up. So I'm excited about going onto the building stage. Yeah, so am I. And then we'll hopefully be showing you a finished summer cabin before long. So I made the bed this morning. There's a little really size lump in it. So now they're working on this big table that they made out of the shed floor. So it's a good job nobody came to collect the shed because we would have been without this really brilliant work mate. Um, so these are the two um, interior doors to the summer house and then this is the door frame. And, We're extremely um, busy aren't we? Yeah, Dad's just been working out how these weird hinges work mm. for swinging the doors and it's going to be awkward to get it on but they've had to assemble um, this whole frame. The instructions weren't very good at all. Yeah, just give you a look, proper look at our uh, work mate. These are plastic boxes just piled on top of each other for the legs. And once this door and everything is fitted together and the window frames as well, and obviously put the glass in, then then they can start building up the actual no, cabin. The oh no, you don't put the glass in, do you? In mm. case it blows it out or gets broken. Hello doggy. So it's super hot today and the guys have moved this table, work table, into the shade because it's just far too hot to be out in the open where they were yesterday. That's the phone ringing. Uh, Dad's just round here um, levelling out the shed base. So these are the plastic um, tiles we've got for laying on here for the shed to go onto. The shed actually arrived yesterday so I'll show you that. We actually had a change of plan with the shed so rather than um, spend a lot of trouble putting up that old shed that we took down, you'll see that on a previous vlog. We've actually got a different shed, a new one. Um, so this is the one that we've got that arrived this week and it's a plastic one. So you can't really tell anything about it at this point but that's going at the back of the garage so that's what we're doing today is um, the plastic tile base for that so Jay and me are just laying these tiles now um, and trying to get them straight just for the base and dad's making the window for the summer house so we're just getting this done while that's going on so that time isn't wasted 
this is dad making the window frames That you've yeah, made. Yeah, we finally, finally finished constructing it, haven't we? Well, you have. There we go. So I can show you with the door open now because it's it, yeah. put the Why handles show, on. Just show them from this point, eh? Yeah. Now it's all been done. So it's looking really nice. There's a vent at the top, like double doors, and yeah. Shall we go in? Mm. It was quite shaded in here earlier. These handles. Look. There's the handle. It's oh, the sorry, lock, that's the lock. Mechanism. Yeah. You can put a padlock on there as well, look. So, yeah. so just show you inside it. It's actually quite shaded in here. It's a bit stuffy though. There's the little window. Obviously, it's frosted. And then, You've yeah. Got a this little, is uh, locking mechanism here at the top and bottom of the door. Oh, right, okay, yeah. So then you can open both of them out. So it's an 8x6 shed, this one, and it's plastic. It's got so, skylight at the top, as you can yeah, see. Yeah, that's quite a bit of light in. It almost looks like a fluorescent tube light. And there, there is the option to put a couple of shelves up as well, but we're going to leave that for now. But it's nice, isn't it? It's nice ventilation at the top. Yep. And back over here. That's looking good. Mm. I like it. Be really handy to just because obviously we lost our other shed, so this is like the overspill stuff that's in the garage, isn't it? And we've got stuff mm -hmm. in the spare room as well, yeah, that's kind of needs to be put in the back in exactly. here. It just gives us more room because everybody, you know, space is a, is a premium, and you, you never know when you're going to need more space. So no, you don't want to lose a shed. And a uh, big thank you to Mazza's uh, mum and dad who. Uh, got this for us yeah you know, they did bless we've been them. working hard over the last few days putting it up so we're very happy with the finish result, yeah it's we? really nice sorry about the the sun it's, it's right in our faces so this this is friday so this is uh the first day when the heat wave is peaking in england so we're about 32 degrees today i don't know if it's gone up any higher than that yeah. yesterday, yesterday was, was 31 30 31 yeah 29 sort of thing um, but it's not been anywhere near as bad as the last heat wave that we vlogged at all. The humidity is not as bad, it's mm. not been as uncomfortable, although, yeah, it has been more bearable in the house. Mm. Hope everybody else is alright. Yeah, we do. Having let, a nice let us, summer. Let us know what you've been up to. Let us know in the comments. Don't be shy to have a, a chat to us. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I know it was a long one, so thank you so much. I just thought I'd leave you with a really pointless look through our collection of ice lollies that we've bought to get us through all the work through the hot weather. If you have enjoyed this video, please do leave us a like and a subscribe. I'd really love to have you subscribe to the channel and don't forget also to hit the notification bell below as well so that you don't miss any next uploads and yeah thanks so much for watching and i'll see you all next time everybody stay safe and see you again soon okay then bye